Hi, I'm Dan, and I uh, appreciate you renting our Coachman Murata. It's a 2018, and uh, we love this. We've taken it out west. We've taken it to New England. We've taken it to Florida. My wife and I really enjoy this coach, and we think you will as well. Uh, it's a Ford V10. It's got plenty of power to get up mountains. We've gone up over the Rockies with this thing, and so I think you'll do fine. I hope you've watched the videos. I sent you a video with the uh, another individual talking about a, a coachman that looks almost exactly like this. Or it, it's, it's almost the exact same model. And uh, so you need to make sure you go through that and have that available if you have any questions about anything. Uh, my good fr friend, uh, Walter Bell, will be giving you your keys and they will look something like this. Let me talk to you a little bit about those keys. There are a couple keys that are gold, and those are the front door. And you will want to uh, make sure that you uh, have those with you if you leave the coach, and uh, so you can get into the front door in case something happens, obviously. Uh, the big one is for the top. That's a deadbolt, and we usually use that when we're leaving the coach uh, and uh, going off and doing something. Uh, the bottom one you normally don't have to use on the outside although you can it's for the bottom lock and as you can see right here this bottom lock is a little flip down lever and uh, we use that on the inside a lot we'll just flip that down and that way the door will be locked as we're traveling down the road or we're sleeping at night although you can flip the bigger one which is the deadbolt if you like a word of caution uh, you can accidentally flip this red lever down, and if you do so, and you lock the door, you close the door, it's locked. And I just dropped the keys. Let me get these <laughs> for just a second. And if that happens, you're going to be locked out. And uh, so you want to make sure you have your keys if you close the door and you're planning on going somewhere even if you're just getting gas. That happened to us. Fortunately, it was just across from our home, so we could go get a spare cassette of keys. So I'm gonna unlock this and we're back in. Let me show you some another little quick thing here. Right here inside the door are a couple little switches right here. Um, I always flip both of them, one's for a light and one's for the steps, but I'm gonna flip both of them up. And notice what happens now. When I flip both of those up, notice that the steps go in, okay? And uh, if you're traveling around and you're not at a campsite and so forth, you want, those to, you want those to go in and out as you're getting in and out, like to stop at a gas station or something like that. If you're parked at a campground for a while, even overnight, go ahead and flip these two down. When you flip those two down and you close the door, the steps stay out. That's very convenient. So the step's not going in and out, in and out every time that you open the door. And that's what will happen if the, if the switches are the other way, the steps will come out when you open the door and then go back in when you close the door, in and out, in and out. And sometimes you'll get your shin knocked and that's not very much fun either. Here on the outside, you have a lot of uh, spaces to store things. In this bay right here, we have some uh, mats and some chairs uh, this mat for example is a nice rough mat really good to have in front of the steps uh, to knock off the grit it is a vinyl floor and uh, grit can accumulate on that that's very helpful uh, in this bay we have some extra toilet paper and paper towels and there's some storage space also in there as well as in the front one uh, this big bay here is empty and you'll be able to use it for storage here's another empty bay uh, back here and uh, these are really big and you'll have plenty of room for storage this bay right here that i passed up is the propane tank and you won't have to worry about that this little bay right here has some blocks and things that i use uh, for when we're towing the car and up blocks if i have to have that to support uh, in an off level kind of a situation those are there in case you need them and you probably won't on the back, you can see that we have the gas tank, and the gas tank is over here on the left, um, and it's normal gasoline. When I say normal, regular gas, 87 octane. So nothing special for this, not diesel. Uh, this is a gas motor. 
and uh, you'll go on the gas side. If you go into a truck stop, go on the gas side because the truck side has diesel. Um, when you go to a truck stop or in any gas station, I'm sorry, go to any gas station, make sure you can get in. <laughs> Look ahead, make sure you can get out. Every gas station is high enough. To, uh, you don't have to worry about height. Or you do have to worry about height going through a lot of things. You can't go through a McDonald's drive through with this baby, you know, so you have to be really careful. Uh, you gotta make sure you have at least 13, preferably 14 or 15 foot clearance. Don't go under any railroad trestles or something, tunnels. Be very, very careful about that. Um, but when you're going into a gas station, just make sure you can get in and you can get out. Uh, you can use everything we have here. You don't have to replenish toilet paper. You don't have to replenish t paper towels or the coffee we give you. But we do ex expect, want you, and of course the uh, agreement is for you to bring this back with a full tank of gas. As we're moving around, the first bay here on the left side is the electric bay. And uh, you can see there's a little hole there with a... Um, a little thing, a lid you can put on it while you're traveling, uh, and the cord, electric cord, goes out of that, and you'll be hooked up to what we call shore power in campgrounds. Now, the key for these bays um, differ a little bit. For all of the bays, except for this one right here, the electric one, it's this little silver key. Uh, for the electric bay, it's the little one with the gray on it. And uh, we had to change out this, this uh, door, and so it has a different key. Uh, this particular bay here right beside it is the uh, tank access to dump the back bath room, the back commode. It has two black tanks, we call it, uh, for stuff that come, goes through the commode. And um, this one is to dump the back one. And when you're dumping, you'll want to attach a water hose here, uh, get it running, make sure you've got this attached underneath with the um, dumping. And uh, there's a little video that I've given you access to that talks you how to dump. Make sure you'll be able to do that. Uh, you'll want to start the water dump uh, and then stop the water after it, you feel like it's wash through quite a bit because that helps clean up the inside um this is your access to the generator and uh you'll see on the video the long video i give you he talks about the breakers that are behind here you pull this panel out if you have to use this machine the uh, motocos without shore power and you're using the generator a lot these breakers may flip on you and if they do that's where they are just in case you're not getting any power uh, inside uh, there's the main water access here and this is where you hook into your city water connection so if you're at a campground and there's water there you want to bring a hose up through there uh, up through this bottom part and into here so you'll have water the access for the sewer for the front bathroom, the front black tank, as well as the gray tank is right there. Uh, the gray tank is the uh, refuge from the uh, sinks and shower. And you wanna make sure you do that last when you're dumping. So do the back black tank first, then come up here do and hook in here. Here's where you hook in the water to flush it in, the hose to flush, flush the, the tank as you're doing that. Go through the same routine as you do in the back. Do the black one, turn your water off going in, turn your black off, and then pull the gray and let it flush through. That gets some nice soapy water through at the very end. Uh, this is a bay that has the sewer pipes and, and all the connection you need uh, to dump. And there is also a weight here. You can see that big orange weight right there that will help hold down the sewer pipe into the outlet so you can uh it won't pop up when you when you dump um this is some some stuff i have in here that i use that you really probably won't need so that's pretty much the outside and uh, i'm going to do a second video that will give you some ideas some things going on on the inside